Okay, here we've got a game between uh, a Terran player and a Zerg player. The Terran is uh, Excello Jack. He's um, spawned up in the top right position in brown. And on the bottom left, we've got Raptor. He's part of the Light Clan, uh, Teal Zerg, down the bottom left there. The map is Arcadia. Uh, interesting map. Um, it's a four player map, um, spawning the, all the corner positions. And um, the main feature of it is that it has a like a, a double natural expa expansion down below the ramp, uh, all protected by a single choke. So as you can see here, uh, got a drone heading out just to take out. I um, know, oh sorry, we've got a drone just scouting up there. Um, early spawning pool by the looks. I'm not sure if that was a nine pool, but over here we've got the uh, Terran um, getting an early gas and. This is one of the things that makes this replay uh, particularly interesting for me, is that uh, the Terran actually goes for a, a triple racks, a sunken break build, and what you're seeing here is um, the Terran player getting a very early barracks to, um, sorry, not a, not such a, um, an early barracks, but an early gas build, just so that it, it can um, get an early engineering bay as well, as we see here, and uh, get an upgrade in time for that sunken break uh, when it moves out. We had uh, a few Zerglings uh, show up, but uh, Terran players ready for that, as you can see. Zerglings are just forced to sit outside and wait. Um, so we've got armor upgrading. It's an interesting choice. Most people actually take uh, weapons when uh, they upgrade. As you can see here, by the way, the uh, Zerg player, quick double expansion, because there's uh, the choke there, uh, able to protect the entire uh, base, all three hatcheries. Um, but that's exactly what the uh, Terran player expects him to do, and that's why he's going for this uh, Sun Break build. Uh, the, the, the Zerg player is basically going for an intensely sort of macro uh, macro heavy build. By the way, I've got uh, the game running in four times speed. I'll slow that down after a while, but I just like to have it um, running in four times speed initially because uh, it just helps get into the game quicker and it saves just waiting around while the build orders are going up. So I've got um, Academy going up, um, armor nearly finished. The reason why the uh, engineering bay is so uh, early there is just because um, upgrades take quite a while when they're, uh, from the engineering bay and he wants to get it done just in time to move out. Um, Zerg player has basically got plenty of time to try and figure out what's going on or why the, uh, the Terran player hasn't got a command center out yet and um, he'll know that he's up to, up to something but uh, we'll see how that plays out in a, in a, in a moment. Um, so Zerg, Zerglings just running around. We've got a lair upgrading at the actual natural position, a Hydrolystain hydro up. Uh, a Terran player has got to do uh, something quick before the uh, um, lurkers pop out, obviously, but he's got this planned out, as you can see. Medic's just coming out now, almost ready to push out. Uh, just waiting for some fire bats as well, and then it'll be go time. And um, we've got only one sunken colony up, so if the Terran player was there now, it would just be uh, total obliteration in terms of the Zerg front, front line. Moving out now, um, that single Zergling was taken out. Um, Six sunken col colonies, seven col colonies going up now. Zerg player knows exactly what's going on. Moving the Zerglings right out, are ready to just come in and flank the Terrans um, once they move in. Oh, actually, no, I got that wrong. Uh, they're heading to the base as soon as the main army's moved out. A clever move, but um, also cleverly, the Terran has left some firebats there. Okay, now here comes the sun break. It's do or die time. Um, pretty much no expansion for the Terran. It's got to do this. Um, but as you can see, Zerg player prepared with seven. A whopping seven sunken colonies and Zerglings just come back and it's just uh, lights out for the uh, small Terran force. Well, not all of them. I mean, there's quite a lot of Marines and Medics there, so that's it. Interestingly, the Zerg player opted to get a Spire um, as well as a Hydralist Den and um, got the Spire second. And I guess it was it's kind of a change, a change of plan, just seeing what the uh, Terran player was doing, just going for the quick sunken break, realized it wasn't going to work. Um, and now the Terran is pretty much left in the very bad position of not having any missile turrets up and the expansion is going up now. Not that many um, uh, mutilisks, but um, even just a few should be able to do a little bit of damage here. Trying to knock out the SCV building the command center just to delay it for a while. The um, rest of the marines haven't really caught up yet, here they come now. But um, yeah, just once again, not that many mutilisks. Um, if he had quite a lot of mulisks in this um, scenario, I think it would be uh, the end for the Terran. But bear in mind that uh, he spent quite a lot of uh, resources and uh, lost a lot of drones on that um, sunk line, as you can see there. Lurkers being upgraded now. 
actually attack damage being upgraded from the um, spire as well, thinking to just invest in mutalisks, but um, I think that would actually have been a mistake, just given the fact that he just didn't have that many mutalisks to really capitalize on the, on the upgrade. Uh, Terran player just now getting a factory, just now attacking up. He's, he really is behind at this point, and um, we've got a Terran, um, so we've got a Zerg, Zerg player rather, with three hatcheries with mineral lines um, all on the go. So really just trying to make a comeback here, get back in the game. Um, to his credit though, what, what's really keeping him um, alive at this point is just the sheer number of Marines and Medics he's got. And just don't forget they're, they're already upgraded, they've already got a plus one armor. Um, and that'll help against Lurkers. Um, what I was saying before that I needed, didn't really get to finish my thought um, was that he chose armor instead of weapons for going for the Sunbreak, and that's unusual. Most Terran players would actually pick the, the weapons upgrade when going for the sunk, um, sunk break because it uh, chews through the sunken colonies a bit quicker. And um, since they're already uh, stemmed the, on 30 hit points rather than 40, um, so the armor isn't going to be as useful as the weapons. But he decided for armor, and maybe he thought, just in the long run, um, I'm going to be against lurkers. Uh, maybe he just knew that Raptor was going to um, use lurkers. Maybe he's a typical lurker uh, player. Here's the lurkers now. And went for armor, but um, armor is useful against lurkers, obviously, to um, uh, allow the marines to survive three hits rather than two. So here come the lurkers now. The scan goes off. Still, um, I st I'm still on two times speed, um, as you can see. Just um, getting the game going. At one point, I just do slow down to one. Um, more hatcheries going up just to capitalize. We've actually got another expansion coming up for the Zerg down the bottom six o'clock position. So Terran player is really um, not in the most enviable position, just given the fact that he's been contained for a while, attacking fairly slowly. He's only just getting tanks and um, science vessels now, but he does have a lot of units. So there's the expansion, just uh, that'll be the th third gas vent. Um, ah, we've got. Um, a group of marines moving out now. I'm not really sure how well these guys will do, just given the fact that there are a number of lurkers around. You can see them there. There's no way that the uh, marines will be able to get past that going to the expansion. Got a dropship though. See if that will be able to do any damage. Yet another expansion. This is actually um, a fairly decent way of playing by the Zerg, just knowing that uh, the terror player is just really slowed down, um, having to try and catch up, and it just gives him heaps of time to, to get going with that. Uh, here we see the Terran player's plan. He's just got a group of Marines standing to the cliff. He's just being airlifted onto the onto the cliff. The locusts go down, not not quick enough to take out that um, eight group, and um, here they come in. This is good, this is good, because um, I thought he was going to take out the Hydralisk then because he would have um, been able to knock out the range upgrade from the Hydralisks, but what happens instead is he takes out a bunch of drones. Pretty good um, play here. The Marines will die, but he did take out a significant number of drones, so that will help him. Um, meanwhile, we've got an attack going into the Terran space. Very action-packed game, by the way. If I didn't mention, this is just one of my favorite um, Terran versus Zerg games. It's a long game, um, so it'll take a, a while to get through, but um, that's partly why I've got it on. Uh, two times speed as well, just because this game, uh, if you watched it in one time speed, is something like 40 or 50 minutes long or something insane like that. It's a very um, violent and bloody and um, epic game by the end of it, but um, it's worth watching because um, some good stuff goes on in this. Um, as you can see, the Zerg players actually opted for a um, Hydra Lurker build, and um, that actually can be a very effective build. It can also be a very ineffective build if the Terran player's got enough tanks and um, Jack, um, XLO Jack, uh, just reminding myself, uh, my, running myself of the names there, um, is in fact countering with a lot of tanks. Um, he's got two there, but he's, he's got a lot more in the way. And here comes a huge um, push coming from the Terran. Um, science vessels leading them on. Uh, coming in, as you can see from the minimap, the, um, the, the Zerg player is actually sort of running around, getting in here to flank, um, coming in from two sides by the looks, but the tanks are already entrenched siege mode. Blasting the ter uh, blasting the Zerg lurkers. Wow, um, that's some heavy firepower right there. So, um, Terran player is not actually looking in bad shape right here. He's got the tank siege right out of the expansion. It's a really good position for the uh, for the Terran player against Zerg. As long as he's got enough defense at home, which he does, um, doesn't have to worry too much about the sunken colonies because the tanks easily outrange them, just pummeling them there. He looks like he has yeah seven. Seven sunken colonies that'll, that'll be taken down. Hydralisk's terrible unit against tanks, excellent unit against quite a lot of other uh, Terran units. But uh, tanks, definitely the way to go if your opponent's getting a Hydralisk's or Locus. Um, 
Just got to be careful with those marines there. If you're standing outside of, um, a group of sunken colonies, best to put them in hold position to prevent them from just running in if they if they see something and just getting sniped because there's still quite a lot of them. Tanks haven't taken them all out yet. And um, a second group coming in, this is really what you've got to do if you've got the momentum as a Terran player against uh, Zerk that's using a lot of um, expansions. It's just to run around the map and, and take them out once you're in a strong position like this um, and just try and control the game a bit. His Zerg player is doing what he needs to just to build up some forces. He knows he can't move out yet. Uh, see, this is good play right here. It's got the tanks in. Didn't take a very large force to take this out, but he didn't really need one because all of the Zerg forces are just being tied up elsewhere.